Guitar Center Love right here. A little bit of a rant as well. Let me get the last of that down. But it's musicians that are killing Guitar Center, in my opinion. You guys want to go in and put your dirty palm prints on a plethora of guitars and basses that are available at Guitar Center. And plug into a plethora of amplifiers that are available at Guitar Center. And then you run out the door and you try to lowball some guy on Reverb or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace to get the piece of gear you want. Instead of just freaking supporting the awesome experience you have available to you at Guitar Center. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, sure, you want to get the best deal on your piece of gear, but you get in touch with a Guitar Center salesperson, and they're always going to give you at least 10% off your purchase, if not 15 Then, on top of that, you're going to get 10% back in gear rewards. Here's a $60 one. Here's a $10 one. Here's a $100 one. And that's just free money for you to go in and get a drum machine or a beat buddy or put it down towards another guitar or patch cables or strings or whatever the heck you want. You can apply those gear rewards towards that. You do have to spend it in store, but who doesn't spend in store, right? Plus, you have the free in-store returns, which Sweetwater does not. If you don't live within proximity, close proximity of Sweetwater, you're shipping that shit back and the guitar is going to cost you at least a hundred, if not more, dollars to send back to Sweetwater. True story, I've tried several guitars from Sweetwater and if there's not something wrong with it, you're shipping it back on your own expense. Same goes for a cab, an amplifier, whatever. If there's not something wrong with it, you don't like it, they're not going to just let you know sh let you ship it back for free. No, you're paying for that stuff. So, I, I just I want people to support Guitar Center because they offer a experience that's unlike many other little stores. I've been in a lot of little mom and pop stores. They won't even let you take stuff home. If you take it home, you bought it. Guitar Center, 45 days tag it home they get it you need to try it in your own room in your own experience you need to try the pedal you buy a pedal you buy a guitar you buy an amp you need to take it home get familiar with it turn the knobs see if it's really something you like and you're still able to return it free 45 days after you get the freaking thing so you know and Guitar Center continues to struggle, but it's not because of a business model or failed business model. It's because musicians are going in, trying the stuff, and then trying to go out to Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, other places to lowball, reverb, to lowball sellers. All right? That's just my take on it.